Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is day 17 of Daily CGI. So I discovered today that you can do VR in Blender. Um, so I set up, well, I went into Blender Preferences, Add-ons, 3D View, uh, VR Scene Inspection is what the add-on's called. So I switched that on, it gives you access to this toolbar here. You hit Start VR Session and it opens the VR Session. Uh, the only other things I changed are mirror VR sessions to synchronize the viewer perspective of virtual reality sessions with this 3D viewport. Um, so that basically ties the movements in the headset with the viewport itself. So you can see that directly through the viewport, uh, which is a nice touch. Uh, gamepad, I'm using a PS4 controller. Um, being detected as a Windows uh, Xbox controller. So. And um, I think that's the only settings that I changed, but I'm gonna pop this on real quick. <sighs> Messy hair. By the way, the only reason I wear so many beanies and hats on camera is uh, because NVIDIA broadcast seems to have issues uh, detecting uh, the solid background, right? So it sort of glitches out, but yep. So I'm using the right thumb stick to, you can do a 360 degree rotation like this. You can sort of fly up and down with the right thumb stick as well. And then the left thumb stick controls X and Y axis movement. So you can pan along like this. Um, so you can get in really close and see quite a lot of detail. I think you can do wireframe mode, viewport mode and uh, Maybe EV as well. I don't think you can do cycles. I missed a material on the side here. But yeah, this is just a really cool uh, way to visualize the scene uh, and get that sense of uh, scale that you don't really necessarily get on a screen. Um, I know VR hasn't really taken off the way some people would have loved it to. Uh, give it time, I think, just because this kind of headset is super clunky and not really accessible to the mainstream, like who would want to get one of these and be tethered to a computer? Obviously, Oculus Rift, or what do they call it these days? Is it Meta? Do they call the headsets Meta headsets? I don't know. But uh, they, they obviously have like non-tethered options these days, but uh, I still don't think it's there. Once it gets down into glasses and uh, augmented reality style concepts, it might Maybe it'll have a better chance at taking off. Uh, but yeah, that's that in this mode. Uh, just as an example of how this could be useful. I mean, it's obvious, but for me personally, I was doing this Blender Guru tutorial the other day with the uh, cup or mug. And I said, I don't know if I made my solidify uh, modifier to like, I don't know if I solidified the edges or made it too thick. And looking at this is definitely not too thick. It's just like spot on, so... Um, yeah, it's just interesting to be able to access it through a headset and get that different sense of scale. Um, just really quickly, we'll switch to wireframe mode. You can see the full wireframe, but through the headset, you can only see the outline. So I don't know if you can change it and see more, but that's just how it is by default for me. Um, and then the other one... Eevee. Oh, let me tighten that. So you can see some reflections. Because I turned the roughness down just to test it. Yeah, overall, I'd say it's pretty good. It works well for my, my needs anyway. And obviously, uh, you don't need to be se seated. You could be standing in an environment and uh, you'd have that true sense of scale and you'd be able to lean down and look at objects on the floor in the scene and everything. So, yeah, I think it's neat. I just keep discovering more and more features in Blender on a daily basis and I am constantly having my mind blown. So... Yeah, that's what I have been doing in Blender for the past day. It took me ages just to set up because I'm using a Lenovo Windows Mixed Reality headset. This thing is not easy to set up. Um, I've had it for a while, but uh, since I updated to Windows 11, I s sort of started from scratch. So, <sighs> gosh, you've got room boundaries, you've got like clunky cliffside software loading, like the uh, built-in Windows Mixed Reality environment. 
and then you've got sound effects running in the background and other software running. It's crazy. It's crazy how unintuitive it is, honestly, genuinely. But Blender itself is awesome, so. Uh, that's it for today's video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up down below or a comment. Um, I will see you uh, hopefully in the next video. See ya.